Hi everyone, this is Amber from Troy. Welcome to Solo Coder 101. Solo Coder is our newly released agent built for deep work. It is designed to handle real software development challenges responsively, visually, and fast. It is the kind of agent that instantly understands your ideas, the context of your work, and multiple work streams that you are managing. So today, I'll walk you through how to get started with Solo Coder in your existing workflow. We'll begin with an example project, a beat machine that generates music based on different genres and moods using LMs. Let's get started. So now we're inside this repository, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask Solo Coder to understand this code base first. So my first prompt goes like, can you give me an overview of this code base and explain the architectures to me? So you can see that now the Solo Coder starts by using the search agent to start understanding our repository. And now it's exploring the tech stack that we're using in this repo. So now we can see that it actually gives an overview of this project with the core workflows and the AI integrations and also the configurations and deployment settings. This is pretty neat and it also gave me an overview of what I've been working on before. And you can see that under each request, we can also see the clear usage of the tokens that I consume and also the context usage rate. And now I'm just gonna run the application and see how it looks like at this moment. So if I click on the extended panel and I can open up my editors, my terminals, docs, and browsers. So I can start by using npm run dev or I can just use the chat to spin up the application. Now, as you can see, we got this vintage style beat machine that we built earlier. Let's give it a quick try. The, the current sounds feels a little bit off. I want to add an open hat and clap to make the rhythm more melodic and balanced. So for here, I can turn on the plan mode and Solo Coder will give back a plan before it went on executing my feature. And let's try it out. So now you can see that I actually give me a plan on how to add these new features. And let's turn off the flow mode and take a look at the plan. So besides changing the audio engine, I also wanted to update our preset music styles. So it looks like it's on uh, updating our different styles with the open hat and clap. We can just click execute and let the solo coder work on this. So now solo coder breaks down the to-dos from our plan. And from the div view, you can actually see the code that is actually changing right now. For each task the solo coder completes, it gives me a summary so that I don't have to look into the details of it. But if I want, I can still expand to see more divs. Okay, so it looks like it just added the open hat and clap here. And let's see how it works. Okay, now our beat is getting better. For each feature that I complete, I can also review the artifacts like our initial plan and take a look at the code, like how you're doing code review for your teammates. Now I want to make the music more expressive with mood. So I can use the voice model to generate music based on my initial beats and the mood. I'll start by searching for the best voice model that's suitable for this work and then come up with a plan for implementation. So I'm probably gonna touch on some of the UI changes in this feature. So I'm gonna start a new task for the second feature. Here, I also want to introduce how you can use subagents. For searching for the best voice model for our feature, I'm gonna delegate this to a subagent and let it use the best model for searching and reasonings. So the good thing about Solo Coder is that you can actually create an agent using Smart Generate. So here I just say this agent is an expert in deep research. So the Smart Generation actually give the agent a name and then have the initial prompts ready. I can also add MCP servers, add Context7 to it. Cool, let's create it. 
So if I click use now, then the agent is a standalone agent. And if I choose to let solo coder call it, then this agent can be called as a sub agent by solo coder. Now I want to use the research scholar agent to search for the most expressive voice model for music generation and see how I can implement it into this beat machine to generate music based on my input. And here I can choose different models. I think uh, GPT-5 High is pretty good at reasoning, so I'm going to use it for doing my deep research. And let's start. So now that you can see that it actually starts searching for the expressive voice models and start a new task. And for my previous task, I can either rename it, delete it, or I can switch back to working on my previous task. Now again, you can see that it gives back a PRD first and then the technical designs to implement this voice models. I only want to implement the phase one first, so I'll just add it to chat and then ask the solo builder to implement phase one. While the deep research for our voice model is in progress, I can also open up a new task. And I actually want to start on some refactor steps. Currently, this um, project is using AWS Bedrock, but I think Bedrock is quite heavy for our application and I want to add custom models that can bring more expressiveness in the future. So maybe this is not an ideal choice for the stack right now. So here I'm going to start opening up a new task to plan for my refactory. Mm -hmm. Now I can take a look at our migration plan while waiting on the voice model implementation to finish. Now the migration plan looks good, we can let solo coder to start refactoring. Now the refactor from AWS Bedrock just completed and we can see the diffs here. Here I also want to highlight the compact button of this context window. So here you can see that right now we've consumed almost like 15% of our current window. And if I click on compact, solo builder will start compacting the history of our conversations and you can see that our context window just got reduced. As your work expands, so does your context. Now you can compact your context window when it gets long and then keep your workspace clean without losing any important information. Now let's move on to bug fixing. Solo Coder is actually pretty good at identifying and resolving issues. I can start a new task and ask Solo Coder to look into security bugs in this code base. Let's do it. Looks like it just scanned the entire code base and quickly generated a detailed plan for a quick fix. Again, you can see that it starts from planning and create to-dos for our bug fix. And Solo Coder is also running the terminal itself to validate the fix. I can either watch it working like this or I can close the tool panels and work on something else. Now the bug fix is completed. I can check the artifacts and check the diffs and verify the changes myself. Now let's see how it works. And that's all for today's Solo Coder 101. We've just seen how Solo Builder understands your existing code base, adding complex features, refactors, and fixing bugs. With multi-agent and multitasking, you can now build much even faster and more efficiently inside Solo. I hope you'll find this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and deep dives into Solo.